In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. And as the abortion battle continues nationally, we're talking with organizations here in the Miami Valley on both sides of the abortion debate. Both groups are weighing in on what overturning Roe v. Wade would mean for Ohio. Good news reporter Allison Gens is live in the studio with team coverage. Allison. Leaders on both sides of the abortion debate in the Miami Valley say the Roe v. Wade leak has been emotional and both say there's a lot of work to be done. The Miami Valley is reacting to the Roe v. Wade leak. We always say, oh, we're going to look for the day when it's going to be overturned and then it happens. I'm appalled and saddened that they are actually going through and doing this. Ohio has several bills that limit access to abortion, including a heartbeat bill that's currently tied up in federal court. Overturning Roe v. Wade could clear the way for these laws to pass. Joy Schwab with Dayton Women's Rights Alliance says this decision impacts women's lives and rights over their own reproductive health care decisions. Women have the right to decide if and when they can uh, carry a pregnancy to term and have children. It's a personal decision. Government has no right stepping in. Margie Christie with Dayton Right to Life says their organization is there to support mothers so they don't have to turn to abortion. Overturning Roe would be a major milestone for what they do. Here's our opportunity. Ohio wants it. We have pro-life Republican legislator. We have a pro-life governor. Let's end it. And, and let Ohio be, you know, a safe and, and loving place for babies. Both leaders say no matter which way the Supreme Court decides, there will still be a lot of work to do. It's not going to end abortion. So what we got to do is we just have to be there for women. We, we just have to be ready in a post pro world to help these women. We're all going to work as hard as we can to make sure that that right is protected. And if not, that it will be reinstated with a new Congress in November. Chief Justice Roberts did confirm the draft opinion leak is authentic. However, it does not represent the court's final position, which is expected this summer. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.